the first two photos of this video shows the um, where I'm at right now with the finish work compared to last time where I didn't have the wood starting to show up on everything. You're also going to see where I finished up the electrical and the headache area and uh, just the progression of, you know, finishing up putting the bling, the wood on, uh, feeling pretty good about uh, the look we're developing. So I've got the uh, electrical in the uh, terminal panel up there done. <clears throat> Most everything is ran. I just uh, have to bring down the radar through this hole here. That's the uh, snorkel out to the roof. Got to bring the radar, got to bring the uh, GPS and the uh, electronic compass. And, uh, well, a couple more little items. But anyway, they have to come down and then they'll go down through that chase up in there through all the way down. So I got that wood over there, of course, that's been uh, stained and rubbed. And I'm gonna bring some wood over to right in here. And I'm gonna make a wood hatch to go over this whole thing here so I can get access to it. Finish off of it. And then I see it just needs to be just tight. It's gonna look great, huh? You have to, I put that fiber fill on either side of it just to, you know, bring it up to tighten this cushion. Yeah. Rather than taking it oh, out. Yeah. And lay on it. It's first test. First test. I'm six foot four. Well, you got plenty there's of There's a foot there and there's a foot down there. This is pretty damn comfortable, if I may <laughs> say so myself. Oh, shoot. Got the ribs in. The quarter inch strips <clears throat> by two and a quarter. Of course, the uh, red nightlight had a hit right on the center. We made it work, though. I've been milling down the uh, aphromosia. So these, the quarter inch, a little over a quarter inch, these are the pieces that are gonna go inside the wall of the cubby. This three quarter by five is a face of a shelf down in there. So I'm hoping I got enough here between this board and this board that's two inch thick and that's 12 wide and that's inch and a half by about nine and this one's about 10 foot long or longer actually 11 <clears throat> and that'll be for all my uh cabinet faces but i got a couple doors i was planning on doing with aphromosia so we'll see and of course the uh all important scrap pile there but uh pretty happy with the way it's turning out inside and run up there so this is just a shot of the uh, raw wood again, showing the grain so you can see it steady.
the big board, of course, two by 12. So I've put a few more trim pieces in. I got the, all the wood crosses done inside, including the back, back here, these two. Got a piece up here. This will get this, I bought these little stainless clothing racks, clothing hooks, I should say, and they'll go, there's a couple of these on there. And then I got a bigger one that goes in the bathroom. So I trimmed out the back. This is the back of the uh, 30 amp 120 volt that comes in from shore power. It just drops down and comes underneath. Trimmed out the sides. So the post is the where the nine inch Ray Marine screen will go on. And that'll be mainly for radar usage. And then my, uh, of course the compass goes up in front here, the passages to get to all my stuff, but got my corners trimmed up. That's the other TV display mount. So then I got all my trim here and my handrails for going up and down to the V berth. Got all my wood on. Trim up the side. USB and 12 volt searchlight plug in. I just have these in to keep things from getting scratched up. That's the blower holes. And I put these in to keep stuff from sliding back and forth. But, uh, so I brought the uh, 12 volt battery in to put the, all the lights on. And it, it's bright, but it's, it sure looks brighter in the uh, camera. But uh, I know it doesn't seem like uh, over the last few weeks getting much done, but very time consuming, single pieces, milling wood down. Um, that just takes a lot, a lot of... Uh, A lot of fun though, to see the trim and how it's looking. Sure like the way the gray came out on the ceiling, that's a Naga hide marine material. And it has, as you can see, it has a little weave or, you know, pattern, but it sure blends in nice with the, uh, the wood look. So of course this is my uh, <clears throat> this is my custom saw table I made with the router. I got a two horse router underneath there, and it has one of those micro adjustables on it, so I can run it out. This flips up for the slide table that comes out. It matches this. So I put these feathers on here just recently, and total big difference in how the speed of cutting. But what I had to do was I had to go to a metal blade to cut this aphromosia. The wood blade gave out in about 40 feet of cutting. This thing here has cut all the rest of it. So it's, uh, I think that's one and an eighth deep, but it's a combination. As you can see, it's a combination tooth, wider and then narrower. And that really got after it. And all the rest of it is I've been doing by hand with my sanders. I got a workstation outside set up underneath the shed to keep the dust from coming in here and just roll the stuff in and out. <clears throat> 